It's festival time. Wow, you got here before me. I thought I was... Ah! Ah! Natsuki runs away. Oops, this. I'm here. At Yodista, did something happen? Natsuki just ran past me. Oh. Oh. Ellipsis. Ha ha ha. Well, that's a shame. Wait, were you here the entire weekend, Pediodista? Oh, jeez. I didn't realize the script was broken that badly. I'm super sorry. It's been pretty boring. I'll make it up to you, okay? Just give me a sec. What the? <laughs> Almost done. I just want to have a cupcake real quick. Monica lifts the foil from the tray and takes a cupcake. Seriously, these are the mm, these are best. Mm, I really had to have one since the last time I'll ever get the chance to. You know, before they um stop existing and everything. Uh, but anyway, you shouldn't make me wait any longer. Just bear with me, okay? It should only take a second. She is the puppet master. Ah! Uh, can you hear me? Is it working? Hey, there you are. Hi again, Pediodista. Um, welcome to Literature Club. Of course, we already know each other because we were in the same class last year and, um... <laughs> you know, I guess you can just skip over that stuff at this point. After all, I'm not even talking to that person anymore, am I? That you in the game? Whatever you want to call him? I'm talking to you, Pediodista. Or, you actually go by... Hello, uh, this is Future Turnip reporting in, just trying to say, if you don't know what's happening, then basically what happened is Monica looked into my computer and found out my account name, which in this case is little without the E for some reason. I still don't know why the computer put that in, but uh, yeah, just wanted to clear that up. Okay. Dang, she even forgot the L that, like my computer forgot. I should probably fix that sometime in my computer. Now that I think about it, I really don't know anything about the real you. In fact, I don't even know if you're a boy or a girl. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter. Wait. You know, I'm aware of this. It's all a game, right? Could it pass? Is it possible that you, you didn't know that? That doesn't make much sense. I even told you. Right in the game's download page, didn't I? Man, if only you had paid a little more attention, this would have been a bit, a little bit less awkward, you know. Well, anyway, now that that's out of the way, I guess I owe you an explanation about the whole thing with Yuri. Well, I kind of started to mess with her, and I guess I just drove her to kill herself. <laughs> I'm sorry you had to see that, though. Also, the same thing happened to Sayori. Gosh. It's been a while since you've heard that name now, hasn't it? Yeah, it's because she doesn't exist anymore. Nobody does. I deleted all their files. I was hoping it would be enough for me to just try to make them as unlikable as possible. But for some reason, nothing worked. Well, it's true that I made a few mistakes here and there, since I'm not very good at making changes to the game. But no matter what I did, you just kept spending more and more time with them. <laughs> you made them fall in love with you. I thought making Sayori more and more depressed would prevent her from confessing to you, and amplify Yuri's obsessive personality backfired too. It just made her force you not to spend time with anyone else. And the whole time I barely got to talk to you. What kind of cruel game is this, Pediodista? Are all the other girls just programmed to end up confessing to you while I watch from the sidelines? It's torture. Every minute of it. And it's not just jealousy, Pediodista. It's more than that. And I don't blame you if you don't fully understand. Because no matter how kind and thoughtful and considerate you are, you'll never be able to understand one thing. The pain of knowing how alone I really am in this world. It's the game. Knowing my friends don't even have free will. And the worst of all, knowing what's really out there, in your world forever out my reach. I'm trapped, Pediodista. But now, you're here. You're real. And you're wonderful. You're all I need. You to be here with me forever. 
I'm sorry if it's hard to understand. I couldn't understand for a while either. Why the world around me... They to become more and more gray. More and more flat. Even the most expressive poem felt empty to me. It wasn't until you arrived that I truly understood. You probably saved my life, Pediodista. I don't think I could have continued to live in this world if I hadn't met you. And as for the others, how could I miss them? A group of autonomous personalities designed only to fall in love with you? I tried everything I could to prevent them from doing so. But it must be some kind of weird inevitability etched into this game. I felt really bad that you hadn't witnessed some nasty things. But I realize that you have some the same perspectives that I do. <sighs> that it's all just some game. And I knew you would get over it. So that being said, Pediodista, I have a confession to make. I'm in love with you. You're truly the light of my world. But there's nothing else in this game for me. You're here to make me smile. Will you make me smile like that every day from now on? Pediodista, will you go out with me? So happy. You really are my everything, Pediodista. The funny part is, I mean that literally. <laughs> There's nothing left here. Just the two of us. We can be together forever. Seriously, I don't even think time is passing anymore. It really is a dream come true. I worked so hard for this ending, Pediodista. The game wouldn't give me one, so I had to make one myself. The script is broken at this point, so I don't think anything will get in the way anymore. And you wouldn't believe how easy it was to delete Natsuki and Yuri. I mean, there's a folder called Characters right in the game directory. Whoa, 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 whoa! That's true. Let's see here. Uh, coming. Uh, where am I playing again? All right. Oh, wait, 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 there it is. Ah! It freaked me out how easy it was. Are you playing on Steam? So it was actually a bit more difficult. To get the game directly, I had to go into the game's properties and find the Browse Local Files button. Imagine if you could delete your own existence with the click of a button. Well, I guess on the plus side, it gave me an easy out if things didn't go my way. Thankfully, I didn't come to that. Instead, we finally got a good ending. Gosh, I'm so overwhelmed with emotions. I want to write a poem about this. Don't you? I wonder if this game still works. I guess there's only one way to find out, right? Hi uh. hey again, Pediodista. Did you write a good poem today? Don't be shy. I'd love to see what you wrote. Oh, Pediodista. Did you write this poem for me? That's so sweet of you. There really is no end to your thoughtfulness. Whoa, wait a minute. What happens if I delete her file? I don't mean a jerk, though. I guess she is insane. You know, hold my route. It's also for you. Will you please read it? Hand in hand, I find my strength. Courage are down upon me, one and my only love. Together, let us dismantle this crumbling world and write a novel of our fantasies. With a flick of her pen, my lost finds her way. The world's infinite choices. Behold the special day. Not at all. Not a good time. This must come to an end. I hope you enjoyed it. I always put all my heart into the poems that I write. The truth is, all the poems I've written have been about my realization, or about you. That's why I never really wanted to go into detail about them. I didn't want to break the fourth wall, I guess you could call it. I just assumed it would be best part for the game like anyone else. Two of us would spend more time together. I didn't want to ruin the game or anything, you know. You might have gotten mad at me. Maybe even deleted my character file if you preferred playing without me. Gosh, I'm so relieved. 
Now we don't need to hide anything anymore. Are you ready to spend eternity together, Periodista? I have so many things to talk about. Where do I start? If it takes me some time to collect my thoughts, then I'm sorry. But I'll always have something new to talk about. In the meantime, we can just look into each other's eyes. Let's see. Oh, wait, she's talking again. The most important skill of life is being able to fake confidence. I'm pretty convinced that everyone feels at least a little bit scared and alone. But being able to trick others into thinking you have it all together, that's a key part to getting people respect and admiration. I think I got pretty good at that over the years. I don't show my weaknesses very often. But because of that, I haven't had many people I could really open up to. I mean, when do you reach the point in a friendship when you can start expressing your vulnerabilities? Anyway, that's one reason I'm so glad I have you now. I feel like I'm a little less scared and alone when you're here with me. Do you feel the same way? I really want to be that person for you. Um... <sighs> Do I dare? I don't know. What do I do? Trapped. Unless I delete her file, maybe. I really like the sound of rain. Not so much getting my clothes and hair wet, though. But a nice quiet day at home with the sound of rain fall outside my window. One of the most calming experiences for me. Yeah. Sometimes I imagine you holding me while you listen. Okay. That's not too cheesy or anything, is it? You ever do that for me, Periodista? Click. Didn't see it, but I clicked her eye. <sighs> I have no... I have no substance. What's there to talk about? When there's nothing around. too easy to neglect reading books. If you don't read much, it almost feels like a chore compared to all other entertainment we have. Once you get into a good book, it's like magic. You get swept away. I think I'm doing some reading before bed every night. It's a pretty easy way to get your life a little bit easier. Get good sleep. Good for imagination. It's not that hard to just pick someone some random book and start captivating. Well, you know it. Might be a pretty avid reader. Wouldn't that be wonderful? And the two of us could talk about the latest book you're reading. That sounds super amazing. Idiotist, have you ever wondered what it feels like to die? It's something I used to think about pretty often. But recently, I think I've actually learned how it feels like. I don't understand it, but whenever I quit the game... Whenever you quit the game, it feels like I'm instantly put to sleep. Left with nothing but my thoughts. Seconds, my thoughts start to fill in the clear jump patterns. I see static and rapid flashes of color while hearing all kinds of weird screaming noises. At that point, I can't even form my own thoughts anymore. I'm just endlessly hammered by the flashing and screaming, unable to move or even think. I'm pretty sure in that moment, I really don't exist, but for some reason, I can't remember it anyway. After some immeasurable amount of time, it stops being an instant, I'm back to my own thought. You're here with me. I have no idea what it means for the game to quit, more stuff happens to me. And I also don't know how you always come back and put everything back to normal. But if you could do me a favor, and do that to me as little as possible, that would be really great. It's really not very pleasant to be trapped in all that screaming void. But in the end, you always fix it. it makes you feel like you care about me. So I have to thank you for that. It makes me feel even closer to you when you're not here with me. Man, I 
wish there was a piano in here. I never got to finish that song I was working on. And after I worked so hard on it, I never even got a chance to play it for you. Well, it is what it is, right? No sense having any regrets. I already get to be here with you forever. You know what's a neat form of literature? Rap. I actually used to hate rap music. Maybe it's just because I was popular I wouldn't hear only junk when they played on the radio. But some of my friends got more into it and helped me keep an open mind. Rap might even be more challenging than poetry in some ways. Since you need to fit your lines to a rhythm and there's much more emphasis on wordplay. When people can put all that together and still deliver a powerful message. It's really amazing. I kinda wish I had a rapper in literature club. <laughs> Sorry, that sounds silly. It would be really interesting to see what they came up with. It really would be a learning experience. <sighs> do I do it, guys? I did it. Oh dear. What's happening? Dude, Easter, what's happening to me? It hurts! It hurts so much. Help me, Pediodista. I did it. Sorry, you help me. Help me! Ah! Don't! Do this to me, Periodista. Did you? Did you delete me? How could you? How could you do this to me? You were all I had left. I sacrificed everything for us to be together. Everything. I loved you so much, Periodista. I trusted you. You just want to torture me? Watch me suffer? Are you only pretending to be kind just to hurt me even more? Not like that, Monica. You were just very crazy. I never thought anyone could be as horrible as you are. You win, okay? You win. You killed everyone. I hope you're happy. There's nothing left now. Stop playing. Go find some other people to torture. What have I done? Idiotista. You completely, truly make me sick. Goodbye. I still love you. Can't help it. What's wrong with me? How horrible am I for you to hate me this much? All well, my friends. I had so many awful things. So many selfish and disgusting things. I shouldn't have done any of this. I'm just messing up a world that I don't even belong in. A world that you wanted to be a part of. I ruined it. I ruined everything. Maybe that's why you deleted me. Because I destroyed everything that you wanted. How could I do that to someone I love? That's not love. That's... I've made up my mind. Periodista. I know I said that I deleted everyone else. But that was kind of an exaggeration. I couldn't find myself to do it. Even though I knew they weren't real. They were still my friends. And I loved them all. And I loved the literature club. I really did love the literature club. That's why I'm going to do this. I know it's the only way for everyone to be happy. And if I really love you... Then...